What's going on guys, Ronald here, and today we are gonna do a little Dragon Ball Z discussion video. Okay, so I just watched, well not just, but I watched earlier the new episode, which was yesterday's episode. Um, it wasn't too, nothing too, you know, relevant to the series itself, other than it's just, it was just a pilot episode between the sagas. And it was just a baseball game between Beerus and Champa. The two gods of one of Universe 6 and one of Universe 7. And of course, they got into it because they both wanted to win. In any case, Champa ended up losing again. Champa 0, Beerus 2. You just, just can't beat Beerus. But it wasn't, like I said, it was nothing too major other than uh, Yamcha just getting beat to hell. As usual, just always gets beat if he's in an episode you can expect that he's gonna get beat up one way or another but what I really want to talk about is next week's episode the start of the new saga my first question is let me get that hair out of the way my first question is why is hit if it is hit why is he after Goku when they last met they were doing fine. They fought, they congratulated each other, and that was it. You know, they seemed like they were on good terms. But then again, Hit did just take off in the in the cube without, you know, anybody's knowledge, I guess, if I remember correctly. He just kind of took off. Second question is he's an assassin, right? So who paid him to take out Goku? Now let's think, who would have a grudge against Goku? Off the top of my head, I honestly couldn't think of anyone. Who would have a grudge against Goku enough to want him dead? And by the looks of it, they actually succeeded on killing him. Because if y'all do remember, Hit can manipulate, manipulate time and space or basically he can just pause time for a split second or I guess a few seconds now that he's trained but I don't understand who would want him dead and I'm hoping another thing I'm hoping for in this saga is to find out who Wiz and Vados's dad is we know who he is it's this little fella right here this is him but what's his name? What's his significance and how did it all become about? I would, I really do hope they go into the, you know, the Beidos and Wiz saga or make a movie, a background movie about them. Because we don't really know much about them at all other than they are Beerusama's and Champa-sama's trainer, guardian, whatever you want to call them. But where did they come from? You know, how did they get their position? I don't know, it's just so many unanswered questions. And another thing on my mind, is Gohan going to get back into training? At the end of, I think it was the Resurrection of F Saga, which really wasn't a saga, it was just a recap on the movie with subtle differences. I know he asked Piccolo to start training them again, but has he actually started training? I'm hoping He'll end up going with Wiz and Vegeta and Goku to train. That would be amazing. He is my favorite character. And a little fun fact for y'all. When the beginning of Dragon Ball Z, the plan was to kill off Goku and have Gohan become the main character. But Goku was so adored around the universe that I guess they ended up keeping him in. But I really do hope Gohan does make an appearance. Uh, there's not really much else to say other than the new saga starts next Sunday. Who wants Goku dead? Who is Vados and Wiz's dad? What's his name? What's his role? I mean, other than protecting the king of all, you know, of everything. Uh, if y'all have any ideas, because right now I'm at a blank. Who who wants Goku dead? What could be? I'm sure the. Vados and Wiz's dad's name is out there somewhere. Uh, I didn't catch it in the, the about two episodes ago. But 
if y'all have any ideas of what's gonna happen, who wants uh, Goku dead and why they want him dead. I can't really think of a reason other than he's becoming way too strong. I couldn't say. I couldn't say because it didn't look like Champa has anything against Goku. That's actually another thing. At the beginning of this episode, Goku asked where Hit was and Champa's response was he's a hard guy to get in contact with. Yet, Beto should have a special power called divination, if I do believe. That's what it's called, where he she can track anybody in the world. I guess, and I don't know, I'm, I'm pretty sure in the universe, with her little orb ball sticky thingy, this thingy right here, whatever it's called. But if y'all have any theories of why and who wants Goku dead, leave it in the comments below. I'd love to hear everyone's theories. And if y'all enjoy this episode and want to have more uh, discussions about the DBZ episodes regularly, do drop a comment and let me know. Leave a like button. Smash that like button. If we can get this video to 10 likes, I'll do another one. And on a, on a different note, we're almost at 100 subs. We're about 22 subs away. Let's make this happen. Hopefully we can hit it by the new year. That would be amazing. If not, that's okay. We're really close. You know, like I said, if it happens, that's fine. If not, great. But anyway, guys, that's all I have for today. There wasn't really much to talk about until we see next episode. If y'all, and like I said, if y'all enjoyed this video, leave a like, comment, and subscribe down below. And I will see you on the next video, guys. Later. I'm out.